stepping, if he slips, the jab, if he slips your jab and he's getting the inside, instead of, instead of stepping back, you gotta learn how to smother in. You gotta smother in. So in other words, if, if you're boxing, right? You're jabbing, you're jabbing, you're jabbing. And I, start, and I start to get to this point where I start to get close to you, right? Okay? You gotta get, if I go down low, you gotta go low, right? Okay? And for whatever reason, if you feel the pressure's too much, for whatever reason, if you feel the pressure's too much, you gotta learn how to slide in. That's right. And smother. And now turn. That's right. That's right. And you take that arm right around. Right around. You take that arm right around. That's it. Turn. Anytime you take this back here on this, and I turn that elbow, I'll turn his whole body. This right here turns his whole body. And then you go here, and then you're right back to start again. And then when you get, in, when you get, and you're back to the middle of the ring, you gotta own it. You gotta get that jab going. It's not about, it's not about aiming and landing the jab. It's about throwing that jab in spots to create it. Don't use the jab to, to always. You gotta land. You gotta land. No, you. You can land it by throwing it in spots. You throw the jab over here. You throw the jab over here. You get me? That's it. Now you're able to land it. So you gotta let it go. You can't just wait. And you can't wait and look for an open. You gotta create it. You was doing real good yesterday. The closer you was getting to the ropes, you were standing up. What you was doing is you, you get close to the ropes, you're going high like that to get away. You don't do that. You start, you, you gotta you got stay low and you gotta still land your shots. Or you got to smother in, turn them, and start all over again. Do not raise up, square up. The closer you get to the ropes, the lower you get. Remember that. You start feeling you're getting close to the ropes, you got to stay low. You got to stay low, you got to bump up. The bottom line is you shouldn't be getting close. Once you have the sense you're getting close to that ropes, you got you got to make you're going to either let your hands go to keep the guy off you. Or you're going to smother and start up and turn them and start all over again. Time and walk them back. If you, if you don't turn them, then you walk them back. Stop his momentum. The more he's able to go forward, the more hope he gets and the more momentum he gets. It'll start going his way instead of where you You want to control the center. You want to control the middle of that ring. You don't want him pushing you toward the ropes. The more he pushes you back, the more he gets confidence, the more momentum he gets, the more hope he gets. See what I'm saying? You want to be able to control the center. 